Odin is finally dead and Thor has ascended to the throne. He is missing his old life of adventuring. On top of that, his hammer seems to be getting heavier every single time he uses it. Whilst this seems to be an ongoing thing for Thor, it isn't really emphasised in this story, which I'm glad it's actually focused on a lot of other stuff instead. And whilst Thor is trying to get his head around being king, Galactus just literally just blows up on Asgard and it's like, Okay, uh, whoa, and by the way, the the art of this is stunning, it just looks amazing, like, and it's chaotic, and you, you really feel like how intense this scene is, just by looking at the page, and the artist just simply just knocks it out of the park, it looks gorgeous. Now the thing is, Galactus is in trouble, he's running away from the King in Black, and he needs Thor's help, so he gives Thor the power cosmic, so they can team up and battle the King in Black. Which, I, I really enjoy the dynamic between these two because, of course, now that Thor is king of Asgard, he has the Odin force, so he's even more powerful than he would be before. But on top of that, he's also got the power of Cosmic from Galactus, and because Galactus grants him that power, he thinks that he's in charge of Thor and he can tell him what to do. No chance. Thor literally annihilates him. He he challenges Galactus and he's like, okay, you, you think you've got stones to like take on me. I am the king of Asgard. Like, I am a god, you know? I, oh, it's just such a great moment and I absolutely loved it. And of course, Galactus does a little thing like, oh yeah, you know, you, you think you're all, you're all that? I'll take away the cosmic power. And then Thor just literally gets the hammer strikes it down, takes the cosmic power back, and he's like, boom! And yeah, it's just it's just so epic. Um, Donny Cates completely knocks it out of the park with this. If you like stuff like um, his Venom Run, his Silver Surfer, you'll love this because it's just so, so good. The thing is with this, is this is like a great jumping on point. I'm not just saying that because it's new number one and Love and Thunder has just come out. What I really appreciate about this story is how it kind of invigorates Thor and the character and the mythos. You have all of the stuff that came before, but the story itself is completely new and it's completely fresh and doesn't feel like a rehash or anything that's come before. I've tried to read Thor uh, twice before. I've tried to read uh, Kieran Gillen's Rung in like 2011. And I've also tried to read Jason Aaron's, which whilst was a little better, they both have Thor speaking like this kind of Shakespearean language, which of course I get that Thor is like an old character and he's been around for centuries but he wouldn't necessarily speak Shakespearean he would probably be speaking Old Norse and like you know when you're growing up the way you talk doesn't always stay the same you're always adapting you're always changing if you think of how you speak uh, now as opposed to how you spoke as a child you're much more coherent you flesh out what you're trying to say a lot more Whereas they can't really comprehend how they're actually feeling and they can't emote that way. Whereas we can. The last thing I want to touch on is the uh, design of Thor because he looks completely different in this. He looks like this and I, I love it. He does look like his normal self with like the um, beard, the long hair and stuff like that. But I think this actual design is really, really cool. Um, I wish that they kind of kept it for a little bit longer. I'm not going to spoil anything, but yeah, it's, 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 it's weird on how it kind of comes into the story and then kind of goes at the same time. Like, it is related to the power cosmic, but yeah. There seems to be a lot going on before at the moment, and it seems like this is building up like a whole big arc as opposed to just one story, because whilst we come face to face with the King in Black as well, we don't necessarily know what his goals are. But yeah, if you're a fan of Thor, if you watch any movies, you want to get into it, this will probably be a great jumping on point. I absolutely love reading him.